So hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a Q&A because I recently asked my Instagram followers some questions that they would like to be answered for a Q&A. So here it goes. The first question was, when did you start getting interested in AG dolls? Well, my sister and I, at first we really liked American Girl dolls in 2008. That's when we really started liking them. But, um... Like, for a long time, we stopped, and we just were like, eh. And we actually were collecting Monster High dolls. But in 2011, we started our interests up again, and because we remember we were looking at the Kanani in the catalog, and we just fell in love with all the American Girl stuff again, and we since then we just started c collecting. The next question was, how many dolls do you have? As of right now, we have 41 American Girl dolls. What is your dream doll? Well, my two favorite dolls are Caroline and Kaylee. So, I guess they're kind of my dream dolls because they're both really pretty. What do I like least about AG? The thing I like least about AG is their prices. I think that a lot of their things are overpriced and... They don't really need to be charging that much because, especially the dolls, they, a while back they used to be 80 and they just raised them up over time, but I don't think they need to be charged, like, at such a high price. Um, the next question was, who's your favorite girl of the year? And as I said, Kaylee is one of my favorite dolls and she was a girl of the year for 2003, so she's my favorite girl of the year. And another question was, who's your favorite Bee Forever? And like I said too, Caroline is one of my other favorite dolls, so she's definitely my favorite Be Forever. Um, and then the next question is, if I had to bring back one retired doll, who would it be? That's pretty hard to choose. I guess I would bring back Kanani because there were so many things in her collection that I really liked. And they're so expensive now, like if you try to find them on eBay. Or I would bring back Sonali because I really want her and she's also really expensive, but she's so pretty. And then another question was, when did you get your first AG doll? So after we started our interest in American Girl, when we got back in 2011, my, sister, my older sister noticed that we really liked them. So for Christmas, she got me and my sister a doll each, and my sister got a Just Like You. And we never figured out what number she was because she looks like a different doll. And she's just so old, so we didn't really, like, know. And she got me Molly, so that was our first dolls. And another question was how and when and wh why did you get an AGIG? So, the per it was actually funny. The person who started my our Instagram account was my little sister. And she started it back in, like, July 2014. She got it because she was on Instagram and she noticed that a lot of people had an American Girl Instagram. And she thought it would be fun to get one of herself. So she made an account to post pictures of our dolls. And I, I started taking over the account. And now she is at Daring Dollies because I really took control and she just wants to have her own account now. So the reason why this account was started, underscore AD, underscore swag, underscore 101, was because my sister started it for fun. Then another question was, what is your favorite thing to do with your dolls? Well, I love to take pictures of them, so that's one of my favorite things to do. Well, thank you guys for watching, and if you have any more questions, comment below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Bye, guys.